Have you run into this problem? Things Dentistry, the place where we love to share those unwritten hints and tips. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I love it when you guys place comments and ask me questions about other things because I work with a whole bunch of different, really cool people, and I can ask them questions if I don't know the answer. So place some comments below, and all the things that we talk about are in the description box below. Let's get started. So my colleagues and I just finished teaching six students. Uh, a clinical root canal course for two weeks and obviously you can see we're using microscopes and then there's a screen so I'm walking up and down the clinic floor and lo and behold I come across this on the screen from one of our students I'm like what are you doing man and it was such an incredibly simple awesome technique to use when you don't have enough space to put your apex locator file holder on top of the the tooth so say for example you have sunk your 25 millimeter file all the way to the apex and you can't, there's not enough space to get your apex locator or file holder. Just take a 10 file, you always have a 10 file or a 15 file, doesn't matter what size it is. And there's enough, it's just fine enough to place it onto the apex locator and see if, you, if you're you at length. Now there's a couple other tips you can use is one, you can use a, a file probe. I have a couple of these, but honestly, I always lose them, but you always have a file. So it's not always useful. I was trying to figure out when is the best time to use this. And you don't need to use it when you've got sufficient file uh, coming out of the tooth. You know, it doesn't really work. You just use a regular, regular Apex file holder. But another technique that I was also told by my buddy is to use a 31 millimeter file. So here in a tooth number 27, we're using a 31 millimeter file to get the length. And that's another tip you can do. But I'll be honest, trying to get a 31 millimeter file in in posterior teeth sometimes it's really complicated so that's why this technique is absolutely phenomenal let me know what you think and thanks so much there dr smiley